This is an audience survey. Anything new on Bewitched for ABC's second season? Oh, yes. Uh, we're moving to a new time, half an hour earlier, so the whole family can watch Bewitched. It'll be on at 8.30, 7.30 Central Time. Judy Kahn, does Love on a Rooftop have new plans for the second season? Oh, yes, we're moving, you know. Not away from our rooftop or San Francisco, but we're going to follow Bewitched on Thursday night. Marlo Thomas? Hi. Yes, I'm that girl. And I'll still be seeing you at 9.30. Oh, well, you'll still be seeing me. Oh, we'll all be seeing each other. Bewitched at 8.30, Love on a Rooftop at 9, and us at... Look, if you'll just tune in at 8.30 and stay until 10, you won't miss a thing. There'll be a whole new look to Thursday night. Bewitched half an hour earlier, followed by Love on a Rooftop, and then that girl. Please join us in color on ABC. Hey, we have a nutty dance contest starting today on American Bandstand. <laughs> From Hollywood, it's time for America's favorite dance party, American Bandstand. The first portion brought to you by... And now, here he is, the star of our show, Dick Clark! Well, a happy Saturday to you, my friend. We're delighted to have you aboard. It's going to be a good day. Joe Simon returns once again with our action friend, Tommy Roll. We'll be talking to uh, one of the hit makers of Minneapolis, St. Paul. A man whose name, if you can believe this, is Tack Hammer. Now, we'll uh, find out about that a little bit later. Our telephone call on the hotline goes to one of the fifth dimension, and Charlie O'Donnell mentioned something of interest. Charles, you want to fill us in? Yes, I want to uh, remind everyone, a big, big dance contest starts today on American Bandstand with some beautiful, beautiful prizes. Right now, here's a happy hit on how to take it easy with the fun-filled flavor and light-hearted lift of Dr. Pepper. Opening up AB today, the Spencer Davis Group. Sir, the Spencer Davis Group here on American Bandstand on the Hollywood Hotline. May I have your name and age? Uh, Pete Miller, 18. Pete, let's see who we have here. Who's on the line? 
This is Marilyn McCoo, and I'm one of the fifth dimension. Marilyn, would you mind uh, answering a few questions? Not at all. All right, here we go with question number one. Uh, do you know the Mamas and the Papas? Yes, we have had the pleasure of meeting them. We did it uh, on the session of Go Where You Want to Go. Papa John was there, and uh, Michelle was there, and the other gentleman, Cass, wasn't able to make it. Question number two. Uh, it seems that you like the Mamas and Papas. Have they ever in influenced you? Uh, no, I couldn't really say that they have. Now, uh, on our record that is out now, I think that we sound somewhat like them. But for our overall show, our overall style, I would say no, they have not influenced us. Third question. Uh, do you mind being compared with the Mamas and the Papas? Not at all. I think they have a great sound. <laughs> all right. Next one. How long has the group been formed? The group has been together for around two and a half years. And under the name of the Fifth Dimension, we've been together for around eight months. Marilyn, here's the last one. Uh, did you go by, go by any other names in the Fifth Dimension? Yes. Formerly, we were known as the Versatiles, uh, and before that, as the Vocals. Marilyn, we're looking forward to having you with us in about two weeks here on American Bandstand. Thanks ever so much for joining us. Pete, hold on a second. Here we go. sounds of the fifth dimension here on Bandstand. They'll be along in a couple of weeks as our special guests, and we'll see Tommy Rowe and Joe Simon in a while later on today, plus a dance contest. The, uh, the swing is back in vogue, and those of you who used to do the Lindy or the Jitterbug, uh, it'll look kind of familiar to you. We'll have a look at that in a while. Right now, watch how you can calm down excited skin with Stridex. Thank you, Charlie. Oh, we'll have a look at the top ten now. and Let's see what the situation is starting down here at the uh, lower portion. In the number ten spot, we've got Peter and Gordon, preceded by Senator Bobby in the number nine. Uh, it's uh, Spider Turner, Keith, Tom Jones, the Supremes holding number five, the Love and Spoonful into four, and the Monkeys in the three spot, and the Buckingham's number two. This is the number one song. <laughs> Georgie Girl is done by the Seekers. We have a Paul Revere and the Raiders Day coming up on where the action is that's just out of sight. And they do this, this song that's coming up in what we call on the show their ape costumes, you know, the caveman things. It has, it's got to be an award winner. It's one of the strangest, funniest looking things you've ever seen in your life. But it's a takeoff on this fantastic record by Sonny and Cher. The 
beat goes on The beat goes on Drums keep pounding a rhythm to the brain la da 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 dee la da 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 That's a great sound, Sonny and Cher. I see our own Cher. Marsha's here today somewhere. I lost her somewhere. She's around. Everybody going to get a seat for a second? We'd like to ask your opinion about some records in a moment in the uh, Raider record portion of American Bandstand, which is upcoming. If you like a deodorant that won't wear out, listen to this. That's right. Remember, Dantine, whenever you should brush and you can't, you will like it. Let us all gather around here now and rate a record. May I have your name and age? Dee Dee Cicelano, 16. Thank you, Dee Dee. You have Marie and Dan in here. Let's check the full names and ages. Marie Distal, 15. Thank you. Dan Snell, 18. Thank you, Dan. You've done this before, so you should know the rules. Rate it somewhere between 35 and 98. Listen to all aspects of the record. The background, the foreground, the singers, uh, the instrumental portions, whatever. Give us your comments and then your rating, if you will, okay? Well, let's see what happens here, Dee Dee, with this one. It's done by the Miracle Walkers. It's called Love in My Soul.
Alrighty, the song is called Love in My Soul. It was done by the Miracle Walkers. D uh, Dan, since you've done it before, we'll start with you and uh, Marie will get the idea. How did you rate the record? I gave it a 78, and uh, I like the record. If it was done by somebody else, like The Temptations, The Miracles, it's got a good, got a good dance beat and it's got good words to it. It's just that uh, these people are, are new, and uh, I don't think their style will be accepted. All right, Marie, you get the general idea. Do you agree or disagree? I, I agree with him, and I gave it a 75, and I, I think it should be done by someone else because... It's kind of discouraging for these fellows. Do you think we, enough people will buy this record to make it a hit? Oh, yeah. Possible. Yeah. All right, rate this record, if you will, between... Oh, I beg your pardon. I'm cutting out your part, Dee Dee. Rating? 76 and a half. All right, let's see what they think of this one by the Tropics. It's called Time. Take the time to call my name. Take the time to hold my hand. Take the time to play the game Take the time to understand Cause if you do, you'll find That you'll have nothing left but time I can sit and wait forever Knowing you'll be on my mind The time has come, it's now on That's a group called The Tropics. The song is called Time. Marie, how did you rate the record? Uh, I gave it 85 because I like the tune and I like that sound in the background. All right, Dan? I, th I gave it an 85 also. It was had a real good beat and it sounds like something that would go in today's buying market, you know. Okay, fair enough. Our average is easy, huh? 85. The low-rated record by the Miracle Walkers, Love in My Soul, got a 76 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> comment there was it should have been done by somebody else. Gentlemen, uh, I'm sorry about that. The Tropics, time, 85. The man with the little dinkle there got uh, lost for a second. Thank you ever so much. Nice to have you with us. Let's put the top on it here with the brass ring and the disadvantages of you.
Here's the scoop on self-styling Adorn. We're going to ask to help you, or uh, ask you to help us, I should say, judge a dance contest in the next half hour here on American Bandstand. In the meantime, let's have a look at some of the people who've come to visit with us and remind you we'll be back right after station identification. <laughs> How are you today? Good, good. Looking very dapper. Thank you. I thought we'd find out who's here. Good. Thank you. A rich, thick shake. Try that five times fast. May I have your name and your age, please? Mike Klein, 16. Thank you. Lois Krieger, 17. Thank you. Marilyn Osa, 15. Thank you. Frank Virgilio, 16. Thank you. Robin Miller, 15. Thank you, Robin. Pat Moriarty, 15. Thanks. Rick Klein, 18. Thank you. Donna Wagoner, 18. Thank you. Marvin Robinson, 16. Thank you, Marvin. Bruce Trendle, 16. Bruce. Sharon Bell, 15. Thank you, Sharon, very, very much. We have a dance contest in this half hour, a couple of very special guests, but first, a word from General Foods. Well, that's the irony of it. One of the stage men, excuse me, he was just talking about the fact he's got to go out and mow his lawn. Tank, will you hold on just a second? All right, Dick. This is uh, Tack Hammer here on the hotline from radio station KDWB, Minneapolis, St. Paul, Minnesota, and uh, it's wild there. How's the weather been, Tack? Last month, Dick, we broke the 1917 record for snowfall during the month. I believe it from what you've said. Got to move to California, old friend, now for the spotlight dance. Pick us a brand new pick hit of the day. Dick, this is the latest by Herman Hermit. I think you'll like it. It's kind of a hush. Good. Thank you ever so much. Thank you, Dick. Good talking to you. Get out that snow shovel, old buddy. In the spotlight dance, Herman. There's a cat. All over the world Tonight, all over the world You can hear the sounds of lovers in love You know what I mean, just the two of us And nobody else In sight, there's nobody else And I'm feeling good, just holding you tight Lots of applause there. Let's find out who's involved. Could you come over here and join us, and could you sneak in here? May I have your name and age, please? Well, I was like 16. Thank you. Tom Pollard, 18. Thank you, Don. Let's see over here. Mark Tanto, 16. Thank you. Jody Biscom, 16. Thank you. Marlene Madale, 16. Thank you. Mike Weber, 18. Thank you, Mike. Will you uh, join the rest of the crowd over there, and we'll be back with our special guests of the day. In the meantime, here's what some modern teens have learned to do about blemishes and the daily medicine treatment with Clearasil. Guest time on American Bandstand. Once again, here's Dick. 
Thank you, Charlie, very much. Another one of my uh, sidewalk surveys that we do in the bleachers every now and again. This is a silly premise, but if you only had one chance, one chance from now and forever to go to a theater or a, an arena or what have you, let's confine it to groups because our guests are single performers and we don't want to embarrass them. But if you went to see a group, what group would you want to see? Probably the monkeys now. Who would you want to see? The monkeys. Yeah? How about you? Stones. Rolling Stone. Stones. Mm -hmm. Stones. Stones. Ding, 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 ding. You all hang around together. Huh? <laughs> well, that's interesting. Because probably in this, the seeds? Yeah? yeah seeds. That's interesting. Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra. <laughs> well, now you're getting into the area of the single performer. Now, it's, uh, these two fellows have done very well in the competition race, what with all the groups. This man, first of all, in particular, he's had so many hit records in a row, and of late he's been writing all of his own material. He's a handsome man and a talented man a good friend of ours. Ladies and gentlemen, will you greet Mr. Tommy Rowe. Everyone is warm inside. They live in the snow. The mercury is dropping down. Minus in the snow. Outside it's chilling, but inside it's thrilling, with fireplaces burning, and records that keep turning. Gone is the green grass, the tree. Can I do something silly? Sure, Dick. Could I take the stool away from you? Sure. <laughs> no, that, this is silly, but we, we had a problem finding an extra stool today, and Joe wanted to borrow it for a second. What's that funny noise in that record? How is it made? Um, well, uh, we sort of created a new sound there by recording bells on a regular track. There's, people probably won't understand it, but... Was it one of those electronic, uh, crazy recording device things? Yeah, well, it's just regular. We take a mallet and uh, do the bells like this and record them on one track. Then we take the track and play it backwards. 
and overdub it onto the master, which is pretty difficult. You know. It's one of the reasons why it takes a long time to make a record these days. Are you superstitious? Oh, very much so. In certain things, you know. Like? Well, traveling? Like flying, yeah. Yeah, traveling. <laughs> I think all of us yeah, are. Yeah. Do you fly? Uh, when I have to, yeah, but I don't like to fly, especially private planes, you know, this type of thing. Commercial right. airlines, I don't mind. Too many bad stories in our business, I'm afraid. Right. What's the most pleasing thing about traveling? Well, as far as doing one-nighters and uh, tours, the most pleasing thing to me is pleasing the fans, which uh, makes me feel real good if they enjoy my show, you know. You meet some nice people? Uh, what, sure. are, what are the upcoming tour plans? Well, we have a lot of tours, especially this spring and this summer. Uh, we have a tour This starts March 25th, I think, with uh, Neil Diamond and Keith and Keith Allison. It's going to be a lot of fun. You got all your buddies going. Right. It'll be fun. <laughs> Here's a man I traveled with at one time. As a matter of fact, he's been here to visit before. And if you will, we'll watch him and ask everybody to greet Mr. Joe Simon. You know, this is one of the few men I know. We got talking before about how sometimes performers get ungrateful and, and forgetful. There were people you wanted to thank. If you had an opportunity, who would you thank for helping you? Oh, uh, the same time, I would like, first I'd like to thank the Thompson out of Auburn, California, John Richburg out of Nashville, Tennessee. And what, are, what do they do for you? Who are these people? Oh, uh, John Richburg is my producer, and uh, the Thompson started me off in my career, was my manager. Ah, that's, that's the key to your Even success. though we're not together, but they still do wonderful things for me, and I appreciate it. What's this homecoming thing? You came in from Oakland. You're going back tonight. Right. We got a Joe Simon homecoming uh, tonight in Oakland, also tomorrow night. Also, along with Joe Simon, will be the Joe Simon Review, like Eugene Blacknell, Cal Boris, and Trudy Johnson, and my brother Roy Simon. It's like old home week. We got to scoot along, Joe. Hold on. Time for a dance contest on American Bandstand. You've met this young lady by seeing her name on the credits, Miss Bunny Barron, who's our production assistant. You ready to act as a judge? Yes, I am. All right, you and Charlie will do the duty. Charlie, would you tell us about the prizes, please? Right, you want to dig. All the boys in the contest will receive car stereo by Craig. The exciting new 3105 will fill your car with swinging sounds. The Boss Car Stereo, another product for your pleasure from Craig. And from International Tape Cartridge Corporation, world's largest supplier of stereo tapes, 
10 cartridges including Herb Alpert Tijuana Brass, the 11 spoonful Herman's Hermits from ITCC, for every girl, Bullet of Triumph 10 transistor portable radio with genuine handcrafted leather cabinet, gives peak AM FM performance made with Bullet of Watchmaker Precision, and a selection of 12 Columbia LP albums featuring such popular stars as Paul Revere and the Raiders, The Birds, and The Circle. Enjoy the greatest sound on records from Columbia. For the winning couple, the girl receives fashionable American Tourister luggage reinforced with fiberglass with padded handles. We'll get you to your destination with Flair from American Tourister. For the boy, a three-man camper tent and sleeping bags made of 100% cotton canvas, the fiber you can trust. Durable, tough water repellent from the Cotton Producers Institute. And for both, this Magnavox Color TV brings you brilliant natural color. Compact with detachable legs so you can enjoy it anywhere. You'll have the satisfaction of owning one of the finest, most reliable color TVs made of magnificent Magnavox. Dick? Breathless Charlie O'Donnell. All right, listen now. Watch carefully. Pick two couples out of the six, if you will. For three weeks, we'll have two couples a week. And then the final payoff of six couples, and you'll pick the final winner. Here's Neil Diamond. Now, a special word for you ladies from the people who know all about beautiful hair. The non-detergent-based shampoo for beautiful hair, Breck. Moment of decision. Do you have an answer? Yes, we do. All right, Bunny. Whom did you both pick? Uh, we picked number two and three. Couples number two and three. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Let's see. May I have your name and age? Diane Bauer, 15. Thank you. Bernie Case, 18. Thank you. Bob Moore, 15. Meg Tisherman, 18. Thank you. Will you folks wrap up the show for us? We'll see you all again next week. Two more couples for three weeks, and then you'll pick the final winner. We'll see you next week right here on American Bandstand. For now, Dick Clark. So long. American Bandstand is a Dick Clark production.